Gang, just want to remind you that the Are You Garbage Comedy Special is on our YouTube page right now. Yeah, it is. It is our favorite moments from last year's tour. And speaking of tours, we're here to announce 2022, the middle class famous tour, baby. New cities, new trash, new money. Yeah, gang, we're coming to Hartford, Albany, Syracuse, Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Denver, <laughs> Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, Rosemont, and this is just part one. Plenty of cities coming after that. It's live stand-up, live AYG. It's a good time. Get your tickets now. We'll see you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Sure is. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grow up to be classy or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, Stage Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here at Aunt Tony's basement. Yeah. She's upstairs, passed out on the couch. Why? I don't know. Just is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sometimes she takes a breather. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought there was going to be a punchline. She can't be up to hijinks every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes she just chills. She fell asleep watching the news. I don't know. What do you want? Sure. She's back on the NyQuil. I don't know what to tell you. All right. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman. Let me tell you something, folks. The next time you reach for a best pal, do yourself a favor and make it a kippy. Give it up for Kevin James Ryan. Oh, bringing back the classics. What's up, everybody? Oh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Cooking, baby. And then, obviously, there was something else we do in the intro. Do you remember what it is? Talking about Patreon.com. Patreon.com, the greatest website of all time. Sweet Check Lord. it the fuck out. Uh, <laughs> slash are you garbage. You sign up, you get bonus content. Episodes of AYG. Episodes of Hard Feelings, which is a completely different podcast. Live streams, the whole nine yards. Check it the fuck out. Beautiful. And make sure you check out the special. Specials on YouTube. Check Specials it out. Specials on YouTube. And speaking of the special, how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire. The magic man makes us all look good. We're in 4K now because of this guy. Oh, shit. I forgot. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty cool. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What up, dudes? Hey, T-Bone. Yeah, I made the switch to 4K. I had to literally pull up two videos and be like, this is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, and I was looking at him. I'm like, all right, we can do it. Still looks the same to me. <laughs> But gang, we could not be more excited to have our incredibly special guest here with us today for the first time. He is a very funny, very successful stand-up comedian and podcaster. He is the host of the amazing podcast, Have a Word. Mm -hmm. But the big question in everybody's mind today, is he garbage? I believe he hails from Liverpool. I mean... That, that, this could be the shortest episode. <laughs> and where, we're done. That's where <laughs> smokestacks were invented. <laughs> Give it up for Adam Rowe, everybody. Yeah. Thanks Come for on. having us here, boys. Uh, yeah, any of your British <laughs> listeners or anyone from America who's spent any time in the place, that, like, they've heard my accent immediately and they've gone, this, we can just shut this down now. I wanted to ask... <laughs> wrap it up. That's like the Boston accent, I presume. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask you that. Now, I, you know... I'm an actor. Oh God! Theoretically, <laughs> so I, I, he's not a director. Relax. <laughs> no, I should I should know this, but what is the difference? But th there's multiple accents in England. Yeah. There, there's the, <laughs> the there's the oh there, there's God. the nice sounding one. Yeah. Hugh Grant. And then there's this. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Grant. What's <laughs> Hugh Grant? And then you. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened was, so every time I come here, every time I speak to any comic, they're always like, "Oh, you you Irish? You Scottish? I, that, that's all we get." Because yeah. what happened was. Ireland sent a lot of people over to England, and the first port you hit is Liverpool. Uh, so a load of Irish guys fucked our great-grandmothers. <laughs> yeah, <and> we did. <laughs> <laughs> and a couple of hundred years later, you end up with me. And That's like, the yeah. difference? Yeah. I thought it was like... The, like it does have a more of like a brogy sound. Like Cockney. Is, do you speak... Is that what it is? Is it Cockney? No, that's like Barney. We'll be in Co rubble. Or, you know, Cockney we'll be in is, Barney. Cockney's London... Cockney is London trash. Cockney is London <laughs> garbage. Cockney is like Idris Elba before he came over here. Okay. Oh, really? And, and spruced himself up. So a why bit. does Hugh Grant talk the way he does? Is it because he's more refined? I or? think his agents told him it'll be beneficial. <laughs> <laughs> to he's his really career. from the South. Yeah. yeah. I think How he's y'all like, doing? You're going to America. They think we all sound like this. You need to really lean into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damn. All right. That's funny. Yeah, I was curious about that. We, but I should know it. There's so many, like, we, so the city right next to Liverpool is Manchester, and everyone thinks their accent's very different. It's not. Manchester's just slower. 
So Liverpool's like, you know, right? It's quite sharp. Mm-hmm. Manchester sounds like a stoned scouser. <laughs> it's not like you're right. Yeah, it's ah. just it's the same. It's just slower. But okay. people in like the hierarchy in England, they all have the hellos, huh? They all they have like that like the high British. Yeah, yeah. But like you've got to understand Are they all lying? <laughs> they, yeah. they all sound it, it, like you. They they're so far removed from what I am. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're like talking about the Queen. He's a dock worker. He comes from dock workers. <laughs> like, <laughs> That'd be like I mean you're dude, talking that's about what I want to ask I didn't want to say it. Thank like you. Just, we're not the same species so far removed. <laughs> <from me. laughs> we're <laughs> not what I am. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's not even it's it's not even apples and oranges. It's it's apples and T bone steaks. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's such a different thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, All right, give okay. us the scoop. What's 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 the full Adam Rowe backstory? How'd you grow up? So where'd you grow up? I grew up on a council estate in in Liverpool. So a council estate is I would say a ghetto. Okay. Okay. Like okay. Okay. It's, just, it's just people who look and sound like me. Uh-huh. Okay. And I had one little brother. Is it government? It's like government housing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's all terraced houses. Hit, hit the jackpot here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't know you were coming in like that. <laughs> When's your flight back? We're gonna need a couple episodes, I think. So, she was throwing rocks at cops at age nine. I like it. Th- this is how shit my street was, right? <laughs> Every house on my street had an extension built on the back, and that extension was the bathroom. Because what clearly happened was they built the entire estate and was like, we forgot to put the fucking toilets in. Really? (laughs) Damn. Yeah. So so we're talking like Billy Elliot, hardcore. Billy Elliot is perfect. So Billy Elliot is Newcastle, which Uh is essentially like it's a twin town at Liverpool. They're the same place. There's just a slightly different accent. That's Damn, it. That's fucking hard. But hardcore. they're the same thing. Like Billy Elliot's dad could be my dad. <laughs> <laughs> and if I wasn't a comic, I'd be ballet dancing. <laughs> <laughs> this close. I want to get out. <laughs> I want to get out. Um, um, what, what did your mom and dad yeah. do? So my mum drank. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so did mine. <laughs> Professionally. <laughs> and my dad was a painter. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Like a house painter. Yeah, so he would, and occasionally he'd get a job with a firm, and that would be a corporate job, and he'd paint like a shop and centre. But then a couple of months later, he was back painting houses. And my (laughs) mum, my my mum, in years before I was born, so before I was born, she was a care worker for like uh, (laughs) people who had special needs. Sure, okay. And then she cleaned it up. She got injured in a hospital operation. And she got nerve damage in her leg, and then she did nothing. But then she worked in a fruit and veg shop, but didn't tell anyone officially that was happening. Ah, uh, so like off gotcha. the books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still collecting. I like it. Good yeah. for her. I like that. And then I would work in there at Christmas time when people bought more vegetables. Because that's where I'm from. People bought more vegetables <laughs> around Christmas. Because <Jeez, laughs> right. it was like, it's the holidays. Mm-hmm. Sprouts. <laughs> That's we we dro- for the cucumbers around Christmas. We were just talking about this. If you ever work with with your, your family where they don't own the company, where they don't own the company, that's a tough look. I was in the back. I wasn't allowed. Like if to you're be both, seen. if you and your mom are unloading boxes together, that's a bad look. Oh, it's worse than that. Are you guys <laughs> like taking lunch together? So I was like 11, 12 years old. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! What the fuck? Would you grow up in the twenties? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I think I was washing. I was washing dishes at twelve. I was probably twelve. Was my first job. One too. day a week though, like so, a Saturday, two shifts in the back room. My mom would be peeling and chopping up carrots and sweet carrot and turnip, and I would bag it. Like, we were basically doing really low-level drug dealing. <laughs> like, she was cutting, I was bagging. and you both have your shirts off? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't trust you. But I had to be in the back because, obviously, if anyone walked Saw past you, and seen yeah. a child working there, sure. then the, the fruit shop would get shut down. Really? Yeah. Can't have that. Man, God damn. <laughs> That's fucking hardcore. Holy shit. And you have your younger brother? Yeah. All right. Gee, what was school like? It was okay. I went to an all boys Catholic high school. Did you now? Do you guys have to pay for those over there? Or are they free? No, no, they're all free. They're free. Yeah, yeah. So There's, you did the uniform and everything. Yeah. So yeah. we had yeah, and so it is was, like Billy Elliot. <laughs> we had an all boys Catholic high school, and then there was a a, a path which is about twelve yards long, mm-hmm. and then on the other side of that path was an all girls Catholic high school. Right. And what they they were like, well, we can't have 
boys and girls mixing together at teenage because they'll all be fucking each other. So sure. what they did was they they starved us of that attention. That made it worse. And then at 3 p.m. every day, released us all on right, the streets at once. Yeah. yeah, and that path seen some fingering, like down the years, plenty of it. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where was this path at exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you drop a pin in that on Google Maps. <laughs> and on the path is a nunnery. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like there's Jesus. a nun's convent on the path. Hmm. <laughs> wow, man, we are in it already. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Um, what did a vacation look like growing up? Was there one? So I, <laughs> my vacation is a kid. So I went on one abroad vacation when I was four, mm-hmm. but it wasn't with me mum and dad. It was oh. with an auntie and uncle. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Going on someone else's vacation. <laughs> the fresh oh, fuck. It's like the Fresh Prince of Liverpool. <laughs> yeah. My auntie got with a guy and he already had a son. Got with a guy. That's yeah. a, that's that's not, that's not falling in love. Got with a guy. Did they live in the same same community that you guys lived in? Uh, not far from. Uh, maybe like four or five miles away. Same kind of housing though? E- mm, yeah. And yeah. why were you guys in the government housing? Your dad it, just wasn't making enough? It, yeah, it's, it's just, that's very common in, in working class parts of England. Okay. It's just, even people, people buy them. So you get government housing, and if you live in them for like 10 years plus, uh-huh. you have like the right Option to buy, to buy it. Yeah. Okay. So there's a lot of like former council estates uh, in, in the northwest of England, for example, that used to be entirely government owned, and now pe- they've gone, right, you're poor but now you're okay yeah. and you can <laughs> buy it you're i mean do you have to be doing do you have to be doing really really well to have like a a single standing house over there the size of houses that people who are doing well over here get compared to what we get is insane really for the price like that the housing market as far as i'm aware in sure. the u.s is so much better than in the uk really like a three-bedroom house in liverpool in a nice area uh-huh. you're looking at Four hundred thousand pounds. Pounds ain't nothing to play with either. That's <laughs> heavy. Yeah. Yeah. I just got caught up in those euros. And Liverpool's cheap. Yeah, like London prices. London's, for that. London's like worse than it's like worse than New York. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I know comics who live in. So I, I, I still rent my house at the minute, and it's it's as cheap as you can. So I got I've got a three bedroom house with a garage, and it's that's where you live now. You yeah. All right. So me and Sam live in a three bedroom house. Nice. Damn, you got a three bedroom house? <laughs> yeah. Shout but- out to Patreon. That- no. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> so, but it's- I love this. Local working class boy makes good. That's this show. Patreon is the life changing medicine website. <laughs> Dude, we literally, I mean, we devote episodes to Sam Yam and Jack Conti, the two developers of <laughs> Patreon, the two founders of it. Stanford grads. Yeah. Good kids. Tell you that right now. Good but kids. I- uh, that that house costs costs me six hundred pounds a month. Like, there's comics I know living in like a six bedroom house share in London, paying treble after a room for the room. Yeah, and London's there's no crazy. benefit to it. Well, like, that's yeah, that's good. There's there's no benefit to living in London. Like, London is two hours away on the train. So when yeah. my agent when I signed with my agent a few years ago, he's like, "Do you want to move to London?" And I was like, "No." And he's like, "Oh well, what if I need you here?" And I was like, "Are you ever gonna get me a TV job with more than with less than two hours' notice? Yeah. That's just not." Listen, happen, the camera's rolling. You gotta get here. <laughs> I was like, I- "I'll be there. Don't worry, we'll figure it out." <laughs> they want you to play Spider-Man, but you gotta be here in fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I told you you should have moved. <laughs> Are your parents still in? The same place. So, as I say, my mum drank, and okay. she doesn't drink anymore, and that's not because she stopped. <laughs> <laughs> she passed away. She passed away. Okay. The, the ale took her, and my dad the lived. Ale, ale took, her. took her. What the fuck? Is that Mate. too dark? What no, you I've never heard <laughs> of <build a> butcher. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I've never heard it said that way. <laughs> ale took that her. That just shook me to the core. Oh my! This kid's fucking hard as nails. <laughs> what the Jesus fuck? Christ! It's cold as ice over here. Oh, it's man. like something a sailor would say. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Again, dock worker shit. The ale took me mother and the fever took me brother. <laughs> <laughs> ya bastard ya! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the ale took her. <laughs> but you know what's fucked That's up? That's what they say about wolves in Alaska. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they was taken by wolves. <laughs> you know what's so fucked up? I'm much of a dirtbag I am. When you said ale, I was like, oh, I can go for an IPA right yeah. now. Yeah. I bet, yeah, I was like, well, that's, yeah, he didn't, he didn't it, sounded re- it sounded refreshing, which was, <laughs> which was bad. Ale took her. And I Damn. know the answer I'm to the dad bit is garbage. So I live one and a half blocks away, essentially, from my dad. But really? you got your own spot. 
Yeah. You're killing But it. I live so close. Gotcha. Which I think, like, in my opinion, that if this was a British podcast and I was sat hosting the Are You Garbage British version. Mm-hmm. Are you rubbish? L- yeah. Are you are you a piece of shit? <laughs> yeah. Because uh, living that close to your parents after you've moved out is... Oh, no, that's for sure garbage here yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's totally I garbage. like it, though. But if you have kids and stuff like that, it's very no, cozy. No. Yeah. Well, the, the idea for me is, like, you want... I think you want to be close enough to your parents that you can go around whenever you want, but far enough away that they can't come around without asking you first. Yeah. And that's getting like that because... Uh, Does your pop show up? It, it, no, it's not that. It's, you know, we do live too close, but he's got bad legs, so it's actually so it's, hard for him. <laughs> even those it's uphill, so... <laughs> even those two streets, that's hard for him to do now. So I, I, I have to go and pick him up in my car. because I've never heard one. that medical term, bad legs. Yeah. <laughs> what exactly is that? <laughs> got a set of bad, <laughs> bad legs. That's what the doctor told him. They were like, <laughs> we don't know what's going on, but this is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I've never pulled This doctor. isn't supposed to... You got bad like- legs. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> Damn. So what's his situation now? Is he still he's still painting and working? No, 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 no. He's long past that. So uh, when my mum died, when uh-huh. the ale took her, he sort of took the bat on, and now he likes a drink as well. Man. Uh... He, he's, he's like, you know, she will not have died in vain. Yes. I will finish I will carry the, the family name on. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Man. Like a fucking novel or something. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Angela's ashes over here. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I was going to ask you if you had a garage fridge, but I guess yeah, not. No. Do we have a fridge in the garage? Now? No. Do you have a garage now? Yeah, but it doesn't really? work. It doesn't it, function. Out. You couldn't put a car in it. It's just filled with shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, most, <laughs> that's most garages, to be I have a cupboard that leaks. <laughs> like, a cupboard? <laughs> that, that's what the garage is. It's a cupboard that leaks. <laughs> it, like, you can't put a car in it. It's, it's stuff that I put. I put stuff in there that I'm like, I will take that to the tip. And then I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the tip? Like the, the dump. The dump. Yeah. It's a good one. Tip. I like it. Is, is the refrigerator in your house? Do you have a full-size one or do you have one of those little child's refrigerators like you guys no, do? No, I, I have a full-size. So it's yeah, a fridge on top, a freezer boy? at the bottom. What's up? It's a fridge on top, freezer yeah, down the bottom. That's like classy. That. So it's open up uh-huh. and then there's trays. The yeah, that's nice. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's real classy. Dishwasher? No, my ex-girlfriend took that and I've never replaced it. I'm sorry, what? She took the dishwasher? So when I broke up with my ex, I was like, look. It's pretty spiteful. Yeah. For the listener, his current girlfriend is sitting on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> She's holding the washing machine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking the stove. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, These guys don't play over there. Oh, when I, when I broke up with my ex, it was me doing the breaking up, and I I wanted to be like a nice guy, so I was like, "Look, this isn't working anymore." We need. I was it's like, "Not a fucking game show. You don't give her a household yeah. appliance." I didn't tell. I didn't want her to take that. What I said was, "Take Look, a couple records and some paintings. Take as long as you need." I was like, "I'm gonna go and stay in my cousin's house for like a week. You figure out what you need to figure out, and then we'll sort it out." And when I got back, she'd already left. All the she- coppers gone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No windows. <laughs> Cut all the wiring out of the house. Here's here's a follow-up question. What kind of dishwasher can you take out like that? Okay. So this is probably trash. You do. You I, I know I I know what you're talking it's about. A desktop one. So like it goes above a desktop. It's not a computer. Yeah, it's a desktop dishwasher. It's about it's about the size of this stereo you've yeah. got here. It's like a microwave. Yeah, it's a microwave. You can wash one dish at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Oh, man, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> now I get why you were asking about the, the, the fridge. You thought it was going to be like a three-quarter size. I've seen those. The Europeans go smaller on a lot yeah. of the household appliances. Super common is the small fridge. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What my kind girl- of car are you driving over there? I've got a Kia Sportage. Nice. Yeah, my Look man. I'm a yeah. Kia man myself. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying not to be anymore. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah. I got two years left on this lease. I'm no longer a Kia man. Give his hand up. Yeah. I got an email from the car dealer that I bought it off the other day going, do you want to upgrade that? Like, you could probably upgrade it, like, now. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I think I think for, so I, it's my birthday next week, and as a present to myself, I think I'm going to upgrade the car. That's great. Yeah, love and that. Do you have to get another key, or can you get something else? No, I can get sort of. It's a it's a multi so it's brand a, you, dealership. You lease it? No, it's not quite a lease. It's a sort of finance deal where mm-hmm. they're like, we'll sort of pay off the rest of it with the part of the finance for your next car. Gotcha. Yeah. They're probably looking for the used car. Yeah, yeah. Because cars you. are yeah, because right. yeah, everybody's looking for used cars now. Yeah, I want a Range Rover. 
but apparently they're not good. Over he's the, he's so the does, fucking Liverpool me, dude. So does Kip. I, I, I want to have the, the next. The, That's the goal, very British. The goal carp. Yeah, but I was. They they break down a lot, especially yeah. here. You're fucked because all it's all it's an it's important. Yeah, so apparently. Also, I can't afford one. That, that's what, <laughs> <laughs> let's put that on record. Patreon.com. <laughs> um, your help, we can. Yeah, they're not they're not good over long distances apparently, which is uh, fucking annoying because they're called Range Rovers. Like it, that's what it should be good at. But apparently, they're really great at inner city driving. But like, if you try and take it on the motorway for too long, it'll just it it wants a break. Uh, hmm. I'm out. Is yeah. the Kia automatic or is it a stick shift? It's a stick. It is, Everything right? stick. Yeah, yeah. they rock it over there. I yeah. like it. How, I want. My... I want automatic. That's going to be the the next car will be automatic. I want an automatic. Does yeah. it? Does it run on diesel? Does it? Yeah. It does. Yeah. Dude, you guys are still on diesel. The Europeans are crazy, dude. It's so what much cheaper. Fuck? It is. It's, it's cheaper. I don't care about the environment. <laughs> <laughs> He's burning two engines. <laughs> Let's go. I just want to get from here to there in the least amount of money possible. Mm-hmm. Diesel. Kip, let's talk about HelloFresh. HelloFresh. Hello. Fresh. Hello. <laughs> we love them, man. Loving them HelloFresh, boys and gals. Pre-portioned. Woo. Saves you time. Mm-hmm. Delicious meals. Right to your door. So my girl still talks about the shrimp that we had. Ooh. Fantastic. Not, they, they don't skimp on the portions either. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. You're not leaving hungry. No. It's they, nice. They take care of you. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. You know that? Numero uno. Numero Top uno. Top of the charts. Uh, cuts back on time spent in the kitchen so you can spend it uh, with your other resolutions this year. Uh, meals ready in around 30 minutes or less, plus quick and easy meals, including 20-minute recipes, low prep, easy cleanup options, provide an even faster route to putting food on the table. And don't forget dessert. They got you. Mm-hmm. Satisfy your sweet tooth with seasonal, limited-time goodies like Dunkaroo cookie dough or vanilla delight cheesecake. Hey, we're a Dunkaroos corporation like over it. here. Uh, yeah, they sent they sent them both to us. I, I I feel like I feel like a professional cook in there. I'm Ramsey. I'm Emerald. Somebody. This. You know what the big Christmas present was for my parents this year? What's that? Subscription to HelloFresh. HelloFresh. Got them straightened out over there. Go to HelloFresh.com slash garbage16 and use the code garbage16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Look at that. HelloFresh.com slash garbage16. Use the promo code garbage16 for up to 16 meals and three free gifts. Do it. Kip, let's talk about ladder. Love ladder. Uncertain times. Uh-huh. Want to make sure the family's taken care of. A lot of times it can be difficult. Term life insurance, all that kind of stuff. Ladder makes it easy. Mm-hmm. You got to get on there. Got to take care of it. Ladder is 100% digital. No doctors, no needles, no paperwork. When you apply no for doctors, three million no in coverage or less. Three mil. Yes. Well, I mean... That ain't nothing to put your nose up at. What? Ooh. All you need is I'll f- die twice. All you need is a few minutes, a phone, or a laptop to apply. Uh, ladder smart algorithms work in real time to find out if you're instantly approved. Uh, if you prefer to talk to a person, which you can, mm-hmm. instead of talking to robots, whatever. Of course. You they know, got you covered. They got you covered. And uh, Some people like that. They like to hear a voice on the internet. Of course. Maybe, maybe you got a free day. You want to call up, talk, hey, how's your day doing? Best thing about it, they're licensed agents. They don't work on commission, so they're not going to try to upsell you. They're looking out for you. They're going to help you. Uh, Issued um, Ladder policies are issued by insurers with long proven histories of paying claims. They are A and A plus rated by AM Best. Don't know what that is, but it's got to be good. Sounds cool. Um, Finally, since life insurance costs more as you age, now is the time to cross it off your list. So go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, life.com slash garbage, ladderlife.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. What's your brother do? Uh, He currently works on scaffolding. So he likes to put the scaffolding up. And How much younger was he? Four years. Four years. Okay. So he's in his mid-20s. Yeah, he's 26. Nice. Hmm. Now, you guys get along? Yeah. Quite well. Good. He's a fuck up. Like, he is a fuck up. Yeah. But he's a fuck up that is quite adorable. Okay. Like, he fucks up and he's like, oh, I fucked up again. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, come you're and looking stay. at two of them. Yeah. yeah. Come, and stay, <laughs> come and stay in my house for two weeks until dad lets you go back. Uh, <laughs> oh, he still lives he's with still me, dad. With dad. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. And that's really good for both of them. Sure. They've both got someone there. Sh- exactly. To drink with. <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you, man. You That's guys, half the battle. <laughs> you guys can say what you want, but if I had my way, I'd love to have my parents fucking the two blocks down. Really? Yeah. He has, there's only two friends in the world. <laughs> my best friends. I love you guys. <laughs> They're watching right now. Hey, buddy. Um, sports growing up. Yeah. What'd you play? Football. Just 
Soccer. Soccer. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Football. And we'd play rounders as well, which is essentially British baseball. We don't really have baseball in the, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. UK. So we'd, we'd play a game we call rounders, which is essentially you throw me the ball, I hit it, and I try and do a lap of the field before you get the ball back. It's baseball. Okay. All we right. Rounders. Hmm. Um, I wouldn't play rugby. I've never been interested in it. I love the NFL now. Mm-hmm. I really? Love watch- yeah, I love watching it. We're going to the Knicks game today. Really? Yeah. Yes, that's I right. Bet. We're going yeah. to watch the basketball in a bit. Um, Do you yeah, have a favorite sports. In- NFL team Do you- that you follow? Have you so, picked one? A few years ago when I was trying to get into the NFL, someone said to me, just pick a team. I thought it like trying out for a team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was, try- I was trying to get, you know. What are they trying to be a wide receiver. I called the Raiders and never called me back. <laughs> If only I'd moved to London. God, <laughs> I would have got it. Um, yeah, when well, I was the NFL's making a big push in London or in yeah, England. Played yeah, a couple games over there. I think the if the pandemic hadn't hit when it did, I think in the by twenty twenty five there might be the the Jaguars might be a London based team. Really, but I think that's gonna be Prolonged, rethought now yeah. because getting teams over here for the games would be too problematic. Mm-hmm. But I, yeah. I I don't follow. I tried to follow a team, and I've tried so much to do it so a few years ago a mate of mine who's into it he was like just pick a team doesn't matter who because if they're shit now they'll be good in four years and whatever so i picked the eagles because yeah. i was because i was watching it's always sunny at the time like while hey. i was having the conversation that was on the tv and i was like well i'll pick them mm-hmm. and then <laughs> you're not gonna like this but someone said oh Eagles fans are all cunts. Do not be an Eagles fan. I totally agree. Totally agree. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Your friend steered you right. Yeah. And then I went to one of the London games a couple of years ago. I went to the Rams versus the Bengals. So I was like, well, I'll just pick one of these teams to follow. So I picked the Rams. Okay. But then I just, I'm such a big Liverpool fan. Like, it affects my mood. If we lose, I'm in a mood for a couple of days. If we win, I feel great for a few days. And I just couldn't find a way to have that emotion. Yeah, that's that's the about an thing. American team. Yeah, yeah, well, it's like born in you. Like, so you I just ha- try and enjoy yeah. the game now. Yeah, I'll watch every game. I don't care who wins. I just want the game to be good. If someone's losing, I want them to win. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the same way with sports like that. Yeah, that I'm not fully into. Big Liverpool fan. Yeah, been to a lot of games. As many as I can. Any soccer riots in your history? No, I don't really get the idea of fighting over a over, team over yeah. sport. Like no brawls. No. no Green Street hooligan type thing going on. <laughs> never, no. set, never, set never state. killed a guy after a match. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly got it. I nearly got beaten up when we played a team called Leeds. Mm-hmm. So I, it was a cup game, maybe ten years ago, maybe a little bit longer, and we just won. And we where the the stadium is in Leeds, there's quite a bit of a walk back to the away fans car park where the coaches are to take you home, <laughs> and we got about. 100 yards from the car park and I'm with two of my friends we were all like 18, 19 and one of them goes oh, I'm never coming back to Leeds it's such a shithole the <sighs> dump it sounds like a rough part of town Leeds. there was about 40 guys that we just hadn't seen or heard 30 yards behind us and they were like I just pictured them tiptoeing behind you <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> right so you're not coming stupid. back here again and they wanted to kill us and we were so lucky because they were the le- they- we're, we're- Football in the UK. They're crazy. You're they're, crazy about it. They, they are, but there's, there's sort of like a rule where you only fight with people who want to fight about it. Be a gentleman about it. So they'll they'll arrange meetups. Yeah, like Green Street, they will yeah. arrange, we meet here, our, we meet firm, here. your, our firm, club, we your fight. club, and we fight. This and, is still going on. Yeah. And we'd sort of happen to be in that pieces. firing line. So we were very, very lucky that there happened to be another 50 Liverpool fans who heard what was going on, and we managed to get away. And then they all had the fight they all wanted. Really? But we were seconds away from being beaten to it in the of our lives. Jesus. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like a nice little Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> What's the car park situation? Why do you got to take a bus there? It's a couple of hours away. Does like, every, you don't, so, you don't, so you can drive if you want. You could drive if you okay. wanted to, but it's sort of like it's part of the experience of going to an away game is getting on the coach with... 50 other Liverpool fans and you all get yeah. drunk and uh, yeah, and the party night. starts like at, yeah. at fucking 7 in the morning or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and Foley, at those games, like the the home team and the away team have different entrances at the opposite yeah, sides of the stadium. Yeah, dude, I've so seen the videos. It's and fucking shit. crazy. Yeah. You'll occasionally, like, so like in Liverpool, there's another team called Everton and mm-hmm. occasionally at a Liverpool-Everton game, you'll see like two or three Liverpool shirts in the Everton end because they've gone like 
there's there's brothers who are support different teams. Sure, yeah. So yeah, occasionally yeah. you'll get it at a very local derby, but it's very rare. Man, it's fucking hardcore. Yeah. That is hardcore. I don't understand how it goes on out here when there's like an NFL game and there's literally, oh, you all just sit wherever your ticket is. Well. I don't know how people don't die every week. <laughs> I mean, they're, they get they get pretty stupid sometimes. It get, but yeah. it's like, it's three on three or one on one. It's not fucking 80 on 80 in the middle of the fucking game. Yeah. <laughs> all right, for the halftime show. Yeah. No one sets the stadium on fire. Yeah. That's crazy. Pretty cool, though. Start setting up those smoke grenades. <laughs> um, growing up, yeah, your mom cook, yeah, she did, yeah, specialties, Jack and Coke, <laughs> <laughs> vodka diet coke. Was that her drink? Was a drinker, but she was thin. Vodka <laughs> diet coke. Was that her? Was that her drink? Vodka and diet, diet coke? coke. Holy, yeah, shit. she'd do a bottle a day, like Damn. a full seventy cl of vodka a day. Holy, Damn. Shit. Fuck. Yeah. What uh what's your dad drink now? Uh whiskey, like Scotch whiskey and full fat coke. What's full that? What? Coke. Coke. No, what'd you not, call it? Oh full fat fat. Coke. Fat coke. Full fat coke. <laughs> <laughs> You're fat fully. That's nice. fucking fantastic. <laughs> Give me a fat coke. That's awesome. Uh, right, so what'd she cook? Because me and T Bone were talking about this on the way in. Yeah. About the cuisine, especially around breakfast. The beans thing came up in the car. Okay. What's the beans thing? Do you have beans at breakfast? Yeah, but, but we, you've got to keep it separate from very, the egg. He got, he got very defensive. Yeah, he's going to fucking hit you. <laughs> it's going to be like a Liverpool match in here. <laughs> be, be, beans are great as long as they don't touch the egg. You need to keep the beans is in their like own little... Is that a rule or is that a you rule? It, mm, it's, it's a commonly accepted rule that is too often broken. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't stand for it. Yeah. Like, if I go to a breakfast place and they don't separate the beans from everything else, the like beans should come in a little pot, a dish. right? Sure. Right? If they don't do that, uh, the tip gets cut in half immediately. <laughs> Damn. It's like, you don't know what you're doing. This is wrong. This is against the rules. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, okay. I, I breakfast, yeah, me and mum would do a good what breakfast. What would it be? Classic. What's so a classic? So, two fried eggs, uh-huh. four pieces of bacon, uh-huh. two sausages, a couple of hash browns, as much toast as you can fit in the toaster. That's all right. That's fucking fine. And, and, and beans in a pot and separately. Beans. Coffee or tea? Um, I drink tea in the house and coffee when I'm out. And that's always been the case. So if I, I've drank tea my whole life. That's pretty like, classic. There's something yeah. so refined, even from this dirt bag, of going home crazy. and being like, cup of tea, please. <laughs> like, I just go... There's something in your roots where you are classy a little bit. It's, I don't get it's it. really nice, too, because I'm trying to switch over because the coffee's been giving me bad anxiety like later on in the day. Yeah, it's not your parents. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the coffee. <laughs> but we had tea a lot What you know, growing up. You know, a yeah. little tea, a little sugar. Yeah. You know, a little milk, real nice. Yeah. So what do you, you do? English breakfast? What do you do? English breakfast tea. Up until about three years ago, I would have two heaped spoons of sugar and milk. Yeah. Yeah. But now I Off don't the have sugar. the sugar. Yeah. I've stopped the sugar. I don't have sugar in my coffee either. That and a couple slices of toast ain't too shabby. So right. much when you're sicky wicky. Bacon on toast. I, I don't think there's a... Th- I've, I've said this before. I don't think there's a food in the world for any part of a meal that isn't improved by bacon. No, oh, totally. 100%. Like a cheesecake is better with bacon. <laughs> <laughs> What's crazy is you're 100% right. I was going to say, they've really pushed the envelope in the last 10 years putting bacon on sweets. They do it on... Donuts over here is a big yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, because it's like the sweet and savory Salt, type Salty thing. and sweet. Yeah. I got so pissed about that because I never remember, I don't remember discovering, like even like uh, if you get like chocolate with a little sea salt on it. Kippy likes that. Yeah. It's fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Why the fuck weren't we doing that the whole time? I just found out about this like two weeks ago. It's crazy. I think it's because putting salt on chocolate is just so insane. Like, it's yeah. great. It's but great. it, it is so, it do, Oh, it absolutely Crazy. works. But chocolate is so bad for you already. And I've, obviously, I eat as much as, it, as I possibly have time for. Mm-hmm. But it is so bad for you already. But I think maybe years ago, someone went, and I'm going to put salt on that. And someone went, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's wait a couple of hundred years. Yeah. This kid's bonkers. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, talking food, are you a brown sauce guy? <laughs> oh, it depends. Brown sauce with bacon. What's brown sauce? Yeah, what are you sneaking that in? What have you been on? What you Listen, you've been, you've been to you've been to yeah. England before. I get it. This guy is a fucking fish and chips. Once all of a sudden he's fucking. <laughs> you don't know what brown sauce is? No. HP well, sauce? Yeah. Oh right. yeah. So it's HP sauce. I've got to be honest with you. I said a couple like, different kinds of them, right? Yeah. Like different like flavors. 
Mm, they're all just brown sauce flavor. Mm -hmm. They're slightly well, there's different. Like a green bottle, a red bottle. So the the there's a fruity one. That's the green bottle. Yes. That's the one you're thinking of. Yeah. Do, just don't touch that. Okay. Don't give that to like. Don't don't give that to someone give it to for Leeds. charity. That's what you give it to. <laughs> it's more of a Leeds thing. Um. But yeah, HP Sauce is the original brown sauce, and then there's loads of different brands that now do their own brown sauce. Mm -hmm. And I got really incredulous then with you guys, like you don't know what brown sauce is, but to be honest with you, neither do I. I <laughs> <laughs> we have something similar. It's called Heinz 57 Sauce. Right. Which, yeah. which is very similar to it. That's, is that not tomato sauce? Not no, ketchup? they make, no. It has, it, 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 they do have a vert, like I think it's called Heinz 57 sauce. It is, it is. It's and it's like, a it is like a it is like that brown yeah. sauce. Because yeah. we used the one restaurant I used to work at, we had HP. Ish? Yeah. T-Bone's pulling your card right now. Mine? Not, yeah, not really. Oh, God. I mean, is it brown? Is it a sauce? It fucking qualifies. It's fucking Winston Churchill <laughs> over here. Relax, <laughs> will you? All the pictures I'm looking at, it's red. What? Heinz 57 Dark sauce. red. I'm saying that it tastes the same. Yeah, I've tasted good. both of them. They're both similar. I think that was like our attempt at HP sauce. Brown sauce put... with bacon, red sauce with sausage. That's In my the morning. Rule. That's my rule, yeah. That's pretty good. So if I have a sausage on toast. You do those blood sausages? Blood sausages? Yeah. Is that they're you guys? undercooked. <laughs> what? Well, no, they're like, right? Like blood sausage, right? What? You don't right. know what that is? No, I do. I just wanted to leave you hanging Yeah, you fucking pussy. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> Maybe. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Black Ooh. pudding. Fried Pig, pig's blood. Pig's blood and rice yeah. or whatever they put in there. It's just fried. It's, it's he said fried pig's blood and I didn't know what I meant when I said blood sausage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean fried pig's blood. Because it looks more like a... It, a it's patty. It's a hockey puck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah rather a than a... Yeah, yeah, what's, yeah. The, what's the, the sausage on toast? Puck. That would just be... Normal sausage. Yeah, like Lynx. Yeah. And you put on, it on, on... Make a sandwich? Yeah, sausage sandwich. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking tell me twice. I like what it is. Have you, have you never had a sausage sandwich? No, not just sausage and HP sauce. Wow. I didn't grow up on the docks. I don't know what to <laughs> tell you. What the fuck? <laughs> I had a fucking bacon, egg, and cheese like a gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The U.S., it's the bit, yeah. To not have, to have your a breakfast sandwich would have egg and cheese on it. Now, that's sure. the, or at least that, egg. That wasn't breakfast every day for you growing up like it's going no, to school. No, cereal. Right? Cereal. cereal. Yeah. Cornflakes. Cornflakes. Yeah. That's right. normal. And then on a weekend, Sunday, you get a Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah, yeah, yeah. you get that. Yeah. yeah. All right. All Sunday right. before the roast dinner. Okay. Before the what? The roast. The roast. Yeah, the roast. It would be a roast always? Every Sunday. A roast. Yeah. So, like, the, she'd make like a, a joint of beef and roast potatoes, vegetables. Was gravy. that good? Was she, she could cook? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Her specialty, I think you asked me before, I was um, sage and onion stuffed pork ribs. Okay. Wow. So she would get a rack of pork ribs, fill it with sage and onion stuff, and roll it and roast it for like 10 hours. Hmm. And just. Sounds pretty classy I to can, me. I'm that's not pretty lie. classy. And the breakfast on paper, you would think, but it sounds nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Plus the tea. I don't know. This kid's all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. Yeah, he is <laughs> for sure trash. <laughs> <laughs> don't let a pot roast fool you, all right? <laughs> this is what happens. He gets food on the mind. He goes, ah, these are all right. <laughs> no, no, no. We would also, <laughs> on the food thing, I can, I suppose the trashiest thing I would eat on maybe a once every two week basis. <laughs> she, you know, she knows what I'm about to say. She would chop up a red onion, spread it around a plate. It's a bad start. <laughs> cover it in cheese. Okay. Melt it in the microwave, and then I would just eat the cheese and onion off the plate. Hmm. That's not that bad. <laughs> it's not, man. It sounds what pretty good. What are you good. talking about? And mix the I'm not saying you're not going to like it. Sure. You're the... But it's trashy. I mean, I can <laughs> microwave <laughs> raw fucking onions and cheese. If you had like some chips or like a piece of bread or something, yeah, but I didn't. He did it. <laughs> you're 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 describing nachos. Yeah, nachos are good. He's eating raw vegetables and cheese. Well, McSorley's does that. The bar here in New York, they put cheese and onions out. Yeah, sure. That's all. Yeah, I don't know, I'm trying. There's also it. some guy puking in the corner, so it's a little. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Kip, what do you know about Babel? Babel? Babel. Big. Or I would say Le Babel. <laughs> Babel. Yeah. Because I speak a little French. You do. And I tell you what. What? I could have used Babel I, you were before I went over there. Uh -huh. 
It's very nice. You want to learn a new language? Easiest, simplest way to do it. Absolutely fantastic. Yes. Babbel is uh, at the top of the list when it comes to uh, learning a new language with an app that sold over 10 million subscriptions. A lot Damn. of people doing this. They know what they're doing over there. Mil. They know what they're doing. It's 15-minute lessons that make a perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. I've used it when I was trying to learn German and talk to my wife. Yeah, I don't like that AI. You don't I, want to... I used other ones. They had me saying, like, I'm a little girl and stuff like that. I'm like, you <laughs> fuck. <fine." laughs> I'm a little teacup. <laughs> Short and stout. <laughs> um, the teaching methods have been scientifically proven to be effective with Babbel. You can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, German. Go French. Go Deutsch. Um, plus, plus Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation of your accent so you're not sounding like a hillbilly when you're over there. You know what I mean? You're walking around with a little bit of clays. They got a hell of a football team, too. <laughs> <laughs> what? Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. Look at that. That's Look at that. Six price. What are you doing? <laughs> That's six months for the price of three. Practically pays for itself. Yeah. Just go to Babbel.com. Use promo code GARBAGE. That's Babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Code GARBAGE. Babbel, language for life. Got three words for you. What's that? Helix? Yeah. Helix. Mm-hmm. Helix. Woo. You know why Helix is the best? Why? Because you're not waiting around in some fucking mattress store. Kicking the tires on it. Some guy with a fucking tie with stains on it and a short sleeve button down. Looking for a sale. Just got divorced. Mm -hmm. Living out by the airport. Coffee breath. Oh, on his last leg. Short no. sleeve. Short sleeve button up, too. The toughest look there the is. Dilbert. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be buying a mattress from Drew Carey, do you? <laughs> what you want to do is you want to go over to Helix. Cleveland you want to take stinks. the quids. You want to take the quiz? Take the quiz. They take were they were lucky enough to uh, send me a mat, me and my me and my lady a mattress. Big man didn't get one. You gotta throw that in my face every time. Yeah, they pay us to. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where's we, mine? We took the two minute sleep quiz. Uh, we got la we got matched with the Twilight mat. I got the Twilight mattress here. I gotta tell you, game changer. First adult mattress. Mm -hmm. We loved it so much. We, we, we just bumped up to the king size. Crazy. Yeah, it was fantastic. He'll uh, take the two-minute quiz. It'll match you with the perfect mattress just for you. Everybody's unique. You have soft, medium, firm mattresses. Mattresses cool you down if you sleep hot. Great for spinal alignment. If you're a big man, they got Helix Plus for you. They plus do. size sleepers. Uh, so if you're looking, just head over to helixsleep.com slash garbage. Take the two-minute quiz. They'll match you with the customized mattress. Give you the best sleep of your life. Ten-year warranty. You try it out for 100 nights risk-free. Uh, they'll even pick it up if you don't love it, but I'm telling you, you get the Kippy approval, you will. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash garbage. One more time, helixsleep.com slash garbage. Now back to the show. Mm. All right, we want to do some questions? We got to do some questions, some proper Let's questions. Let's do it, yeah. Um, what were the pets like growing up? <laughs> okay. So um, I had a budgie. A what? A bird. A little budgie. Oh, bird people are bad people. Right? Would it fly around the house or was it in yeah. a cage? It was in a cage, but it would be allowed around the living room sort of once a day. It was like taking it for a walk. Was, <laughs> let, let the budgie out for its walk. Oh. <laughs> I would have never pegged you as a bird Is guy. the budgie the name of the bird or the kind of bird that it is? That's the kind of bird. It was called, the name of the bird was Sparks. That was Sparks. his name. Um, and it was, yeah, the breed of bird is a budgie. And it, here's the awful thing about it sounds that. trashy, dude. It does. Sounds well, like you just grabbed a pigeon outside. <laughs> yeah. So I came back from school one day. I think I was like five years old, right? And me mum goes to me, um, got some really bad news. Sparks has flew away, right? Mm -hmm. And she goes, but he must have wanted to say goodbye to you because he he's he's come back and left this feather on the doorstep. And she gave me this feather, and I treasured this feather for years. I was like, Sparks flew away, but brought me back this and i remember i was about 16 years old so you're looking at 11 12 years later and, and you I, believe it that whole time yeah until, until this moment right so i'm in the house with like my two best friends and we're just talking and my mum by this point is full-blown drinker she's on it like the second half of the vodka and diet coke and we're talking about um <laughs> me bed with me and me two best mates and they're like, what happened? And I was like, yeah, he flew away. Flew away. And he, flew, <laughs> oh, he flew back and he, he left me a feather. And they were like, you're a fucking idiot. That <laughs> did not happen. And I went, mum, didn't Sparks fly away and come back in this feather? And she went, nope. 
<laughs> she took a sip of her drink and went, what happened was Sparks uh, pulled all of his own feathers out and killed himself. And that's just the story we told you so you didn't cry. Oh, my and finished God. Their drink. <laughs> Did the bird really kill itself? The bird killed itself. The, I had a Must suicidal budget. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. <laughs> What? Dude, I've never heard of a pet committing suicide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the long way, too, pulling out its feathers. Not even flying into a wall. He took his time. Take a hot bath with a cold razor or yeah. something, will you? Jesus Christ. Holy shit, dude. The, the way, uh, I mean, to come, believe that and to be from, like. Come back from school, the birds <laughs> hanging in the game. <laughs> swinging back and forth. <laughs> Sparks was here on top of the game. I also had a rabbit that shit itself to death. I had a rabbit that was it, it, it couldn't shit properly, and the shit was clogging up its oh, asshole. Up. Oh. And was that an indoor or outdoor rabbit? It was an indoor rabbit. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> well, people have like a pen out. You keep like a pen outside. Wait, it was indoor. Yeah, it was indoor. Yeah, oh fucking my God. God. I had a rabbit hutch I've in the house. I've only ever seen them with the outdoors. <laughs> not, with, not with these people. <laughs> 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 We're talking about the rosy. Uh, I couldn't sleep with a rabbit in the house. I wouldn't like that at yeah, all. It smells like a pet store. <laughs> yeah. Chew yeah. it on your face while you're sleeping. Oh my God. Jesus. We no dogs, it, cats. We had, we had a dog for a little bit. So he we got into drugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, how'd he get it? <laughs> got in with the bookies? <laughs> <laughs> bet, the, bet the house on Liverpool. They didn't cover. Got shanked down at the wharf. Uh, we had to give the dog away because it was destroying the house. Because it was, this was at the time my mum worked in the fruit shop. So we'd be at school all day. My dad. My mum and dad had split up, and yeah, the dog was in the house on its own. It was just destroying everything because we were leaving it for too long on its own, so yeah. we had to give it away. Man, Jesus dude. Christ, dude. No mm. pet wanted to stay there. <laughs> it's like a house of horrors for pets. <laughs> you can hear the rabbit talking to the dog. You hear about sparks? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to shit myself to death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to squeeze my asshole together really tight. <laughs> I'm going to act crazy till they get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> Dog's walking around talking to himself. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. <laughs> Damn. That is something else. Let's talk about now a little bit. Okay. Okay. Trying to class it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. You pee in the shower? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do you brush your teeth in the shower? No. Okay. I Are you like do. staunchly against it? No. But I'm not just, against it, I just don't. Okay. I sometimes will brush my teeth while I'm shitting. Yikes, that's not good. But wh- why? Will you be shitting and then decide to brush your teeth or be brushing your teeth and be like, I got to shit? That one. Okay, that's a little more of an emergency, I'll <laughs> give you that. But, and I have definitely got IBS. Yeah. Like, a doctor's never told me, but it would be a short conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Irritable bowel syndrome? Yeah. I got it too. Yeah, it's bad. Sometimes I have, it's like the fuse is lit and it's like, I got to get to wherever I got to get to quick. If I eat KFC, I can literally set a 47 minute timer, (laughs) specifically 47 minutes and I'm going to, yeah. It's it's a wreck. Is that your go-to fast food over there? No. What's your go-to? Chinese takeaway. Chinese takeaway. Like is, is more, I will eat that like twice a week sometimes. Really? Yeah. Huh. McDonald's, Burger King. Yeah, Burger King, not so much. Okay, Burger King, I think is subpar. It's yeah, that's the that's the bottom. I would go McDonald's and KFC, sort of on a level, and then KFC is right down the bottom. Okay, yeah, KFC is like expensive service station. So if I've done, if I've been performing a few hours away from home, on the way home, I'll stop to get like petrol for the car mm-hmm. and or petrol diesel. that's class <laughs> that's <Diesel>. class <laughs> you gotta give him a point for that yeah he said petrol all right so he's a negative 99 <laughs> <laughs> i think he can do it in the next 15 minutes gang do you brush your teeth in the shower never <laughs> but i do when i'm taking a dump <laughs> i just feel like i'm saving time Shut brushing up. my teeth while i'm dumb i'm like no it's not good man that's, that's not good but otherwise it's just time you're not getting back you might as well combine <laughs> it time you're not getting back. i mean it's just god damn it it's yeah, your schedule can't be that tight. <laughs> <laughs> Old school. Um, do you know how to tie a tie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the everyday for school. Uh, okay, okay, that makes do sense. Do you uh, right now? If you had to, you got a suit at the house you can throw on. Uh, yeah, multiple ones. Yeah, I've got one with me. Ooh, got one with me. Pretty What's for, to go out to a nice dinner? Yeah, we're going fine dining on Sunday. Where Ooh, at? You're doing suit. I- I don't know where we're going. Okay. But they specifically say on the website the gentleman has to wear a, a dinner jacket and uh, they would prefer a suit and tie. Okay. Nice. Pretty good. Mm. All right. Pretty good. 
Traveling I, uh, with the yeah. suit. I see on Instagram. You're Negative pretty, 98. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're pretty put together. He's all right, Catholic, yeah. Fashion-wise. Was that always the case, or now that you started making a couple of bucks, you're like, I can afford My dress sense has got clothes. significantly better towards the end of my 20s. Sure. 100%. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. a combination of having a bit more money mm -hmm. and also just realizing what a... Uh, idiots I used to dress of like. Of course, of course. I used to wear t-shirts that would say like sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Oh my God. <laughs> In fact, one Negative of them 99 said, again. What, one of them said sex, drugs, and sausage rolls. <laughs> One of them said, drink triple C double act single. I used oh. to gig in that t-shirt. Oh, my God, dude. Yikes. <laughs> That's a bad. <laughs> not, any novelty t-shirt is not good. No. Do you wear pajamas? No. Like proper pajamas? No, I will wear the t-shirts I've had on all day, mm. oh. my underwear, mm -hmm. and sliders. That's my pajamas. Oh, you don't sleep with the sliders on, do you? No, I sleep just in the underwear. Okay. Just in the underwear. Do you yeah. put you, the sliders, you mean they're... Uh, like flops. Yeah, flip -flops. Slippers, yeah. yeah. Do you have those right next to the bed? Yeah. So you you put those on when you get up? Most of the time. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. Classy. That's all right. I got. I kind of like yeah. that. Yeah, but it's a Liverpool house. It's broken glass. <laughs> it's true, yeah. <laughs> You're stepping on a dead bunny if you didn't. <laughs> all the rabbit shit. Everywhere. All the rabbit shit and bird feathers everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Are you with shoes off in a house? No, and I think anyone who is that that proud about their house, I don't want to be in your house. I don't okay. disagree with it. New York's a little different because New York is a very dirty city. So, like, your apartment, you kind of got to because there's, like, bum shit everywhere. But Yeah. But if okay. I turn up at any of my friend's house, like, especially if they still live at home, and they're like, they're like oh, mom wants the shoes off. I'm like, let's just, I'll wait outside, yeah, get your yeah, coats, yeah, yeah, and then we'll yeah. go. Because this is the just bar. fucking, we're all adults. Mop really? You won't even go into the going house? Over, going over someone's house, I don't like taking my shoes off, yeah. Yeah. But like I'm not walking around my I feel house. like you lose your power a little bit. Oh, I'll take hey, it turns into you turn into a child again. <laughs> yeah, I take the shoes off. I'll take my shoes off in the house. Yeah, once, your once, house. Yeah, yeah, once yeah. I'm settled. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'll I'll often take me socks off and put me sliders on. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great sense. Take yeah. me socks off and put me sliders on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh okay. All right. Uh do you hang your t shirts or do you fold them? I fold my t shirts. Okay. All right. I hang my shirt shirt. Yeah. Got to. Yeah. Got okay. To. What's the cable situation at the house? Uh, TV channel wise, what do you got? Got everything, including the sports, but not the movies because there's enough movies on Netflix and. Okay. Stuff. Is it satellite or is it cable? It's cable. What are you, Sky or something? Isn't that Virgin Media? Ooh, Ooh Branson Company. Wow, yeah. not that too guy. shabby. It's good. That's not I need bad. good internet for like I got everything, I yeah. upgraded to the maximum internet in the first COVID lockdown because I needed it to do my podcast. Okay. Uh, and I can't not have the sports channels because Liverpool. But I don't pay for the HD channels. I've just got the standard oh sport. Oh, my God. No HD? No. I've got HD, like, on some of them. But the sport channels, they charge you, like, an extra £80 a month for it to be HD. So I'm like, I'll just watch it in standard definition. I'm used to watching it on some foreign stream on my laptop <laughs> with some I Arabic guy shouting Come about on. the game. So I'm quite happy for it to just be, like, 720p on the TV. <laughs> Every game looks like the 86 World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, shit. At the hotel you're in now, will you use the, will, or any hotel, will you use the safe? Yes. Really? I just used the safe. First time ever. I mean, you were, I mean, yeah. Okay. Our, put, you we were put afraid. Our we put our passports in there. Passports in the safe, laptop in the safe, cash in the safe. Really? Damn, you're rolling around that thick? Put no, the but like, it's like, there's like five hundred dollars. Like I'm not leaving it in the hotel room when there's a sure. safe there. Why would I not put it in? Uh, I'm already uh, using it. Like I'm already like why would I if I'm putting the laptop and the passport? Why, in, would, why you would you leave I the cash on the cash? table? Gotcha. Yeah, that you know, makes sense. You know, I just realize everything's cheaper over here for him. For him, yeah, that's awesome. It's like when we go to like Taiwan or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's gotta be. A good <laughs> I, don't know why. I don't know why I picked Taiwan. <laughs> that's gotta be a good feeling. Everything's cheaper. It's not really. Like, what do you mean by everything's cheaper? Like, like well, it's food also and drink? New York, yeah. When I was like, $9 I've been paying for beers. He's pissed. It's not Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> if he was coming from London, it'd be. It That's not be fucking thing. normal, by the way. $9 yeah. for, for a three for a 12 ounce beer. Mm -hmm. Like, that in Liverpool, that's four pounds, which is like three dollars. But I noticed if I spent 160 bucks over there, it would, it would be, they would take two They're on different out of my currency. account. Who is? Well, you guys are on the Euro? 
They're on the no, pound. pound. They've Damn. always been on. They never switched over. That was wow. the big thing. We're not switching yeah. over, and the pound always stayed stronger than the euro. What? Until Holy shit, Brexit, I didn't know that. and then it went through the floor. Yeah. That's pretty bold, though. I like that. Yeah. Tough kids You over used there. to get $2 for a pound. Like, when I was a kid, I always knew that you would get $2 for every pound you spend. You don't get, it's about one to one now, hmm. roughly. Yes, sli- right. yes, slightly more. So I think we, we, when we went, we went to a restaurant called Frank for dinner the night we arrived. And it was $140 for the meal and the drinks. And that was about £105. Ooh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So not, not, not too far off. Yeah. I like it. All right. Like um, it. Are you currently in a fight or a beef argument with a neighbor? Is there someone where you're like, fuck you, Terry, every day, you know, or like. It's not spoken. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a cold war. But there's a. Yeah. <laughs> There's a oh actually there's there's two yeah, silent up on that wars with you, yeah. there's two silent wars yeah, so the next door neighbor guy passively from war <laughs> <laughs> no never going to Russia in the in the winter <laughs> this kid's like Chamberlain the next door guy will passive aggressively like move my bins to where he wants them to be He's oh, like, oh hey, I don't like that I'm on your side oh, I fucking this. freak don't out don't touch my shit yeah no shit I mean I I will have left the bins out four days longer than they needed right, to be I'm, I'm with the neighbor on this one. That's and then good. there's a house over the way from us. And the, the people who've just moved in there, the house has been empty since I've moved in. They've started using mine and Sam's parking spots. Oh, but they're God. not like officially ours, but they're fucking ours. Like they're ours. It's a very Philly thing. Yeah. Philadelphia. This is a, yeah. That's my spot. And you, like I'm coming back and you're in it. Or like they block me in. Like so the way it is, there's. Blocking there, in, that's, that's nuts. There's, there's space for eight cars. Right, it's just like a big patch that is has been come to use a car park for the people on our street. Sure, <laughs> and the four, but everybody parks in the same pl- has been parking in the same places. Yeah, and the, there's so the four in front can't get out if anyone's behind them. So mm-hmm. what happens is my girlfriend will park here and I will park right behind her because then I can go you and let her out. Let ah, her out. Or if I'm asleep, she can go and take the key and let herself out and whatever. But I've started parking like there, and they will park behind me and block me in. Oh fuck that. Man. Yeah, you gotta say something. Yeah, well, we, we've sort of been like, you do know that there are, and they're like, oh well, we're they're so, so they they've just bought the house, so they're decorating it, they're doing it up. Uh so they're like leaving it so there. So they're like, oh, we're only going to be five minutes. We'll eventually park on our park. It's just easier for now. And it's like, yeah, but it's not easier because every time you do it, we have to get you to move it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, fuck that. What's the other beef? He's moving me bins. Yeah, he's moving no, me. I'm moving your bins. That's right. <laughs> he's moving, moving me bins. bins. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I got really petty a while back as well. So <laughs> they they were doing housework at like eight o'clock in the morning, uh-huh. like banging and nailing and all that sort of shit and drilling. And I, like I'm a comic, I'm sometimes not in till three yeah. o'clock in the morning from work. And I was like so annoyed. So I wait because they've got young kids as well. I waited till I knew the kids would be in bed, and I blasted the Hamilton soundtrack as loud as I could for the, <laughs> the, the entire soundtrack. thing. I don't mind that. You got to get back. Yeah, at keeping it. it classy though. I yeah. like it. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like you, you made noise while I was asleep. Now I'm gonna make noise while you want to be asleep. <laughs> sure. Uh, um, the kids in the middle. Can you play chess? Yes. Really? Are you any good? Like, would you consider yourself okay? Like decent? Yeah, I'm, I, I can play. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty good. All right. Read I was books? in the chess club at school. Oh, really? Yeah. Big reader, you read? No, I've made a New Year's resolution to try and read one book every two weeks. And if I read two every books, two weeks? Yeah. You're not, not going to do it. <laughs> no. You're not going to do it. Buddy, no. How That's many? A tough all right, order. so it's currently the first week of January. How much have you read so far? I've brought a book with me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have a book that I've been taking on vacation with me for like two years. I've never fucking opened it once. Yeah, I bought this book two years ago. And I've oh never got round to opening it. Crazy. What yeah. is the book? Malcolm Gladwell Outliers. Oh, I just uh I just uh did that. Yeah. I did an audio version. Is it worth reading? Mm, not re- uh, <laughs> so you know, you're looking for it. an out. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well Kippy said it's not that good to begin with, so Yeah, it's alright. Do the audio books. I won't It's not bad. I, I won't do an audio book. I've been I doing them, do in them the, either. I've it's been weird. doing them in the car. It's all right. See, I might be able to do that. If I was, I could maybe do it in the car. That's the only time I put a podcast on. Mm-hmm. I haven't got the attention span to sit and listen to something if I've got anything else going on. Yeah. It needs to be visual for me as well. But obviously, if I'm driving, you can't have like a fucking film on my driving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Um, have you ever bought the floor model of like an appliance or a TV? 
what, what's the floor? The floor model like the, would be like you're at the electronics one. store and you're like, I'll, it's got a couple of things. I'll in take it. this one. Like, don't give me one in a box. Give me this one. Oh no. Okay. All right. No, 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 people no. People do that because it'll be like fifty, you know, fifty bucks less for the TV. I know people that have done that with sneakers, and one's faded, and the oh, other one's it's not. Got barbecue sauce on it and shit. <laughs> so in a, I will ask for discounts if they try and give me that one. Oh, of course. That's so if good. I were like, That's this good. is yours, you'd be like, well, yeah, you got to knock some. Yeah. Yeah. So if they're like, oh, the, there's only one, one size, one in your size left, it's the the display. Is that okay? I'm like, no, mm-hmm. unless you knock. Whatever. Yeah. Knock 20 yeah. bucks off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I can see that. Hmm. You fish? <laughs> no. <laughs> I did right. once when I was a kid. Ever fish pop- off a bridge? No. All right. Hmm. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Any instruments hanging on the wall at your house? No. Um,. No, my dad once put a guitar on the wall and no one in the house plays it. (laughs) I don't know where he got it from. Uh I don't know why he has it. But I came home, this was when I lived with him, I was like, why is there a guitar on the wall? And his answer was, sometimes people have guitars on the wall. (laughs) Stop asking me (laughs) fucking questions. That is the trashiest thing I've ever heard. (laughs) Because it's usually somebody showing off that they play guitar. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so your dad to put a guitar on the wall and nobody in the family plays it. That is fucking legendary. No one's even ever took a guitar lesson. Was it acoustic, like was it acoustic or electric? It was acoustic, and this is the worst bit. There was no strings on it. Oh, I knew you were going <laughs> to say that. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> it was a stringless acoustic guitar hung on the wall. Man. And his explanation was sometimes people have guitars on the wall. Where was uh, your, any extended family living around you? Uh, Cousins or anything like that. The ants were not too. The The ants were not too. Guys, she was. Okay, so that was those guys. Oh yeah. What about the ant? We didn't really talk about that. I don't think we ever got to the vacation. To be honest with you, we can go to that. I just went. uh, They. She met a guy. He had a son. She didn't. So I was taken sort of as her son. So that his son had someone to play with on the holiday, when they wanted to fucking do this. Are they still together? Yeah. And now they've got two kids of their own. Ah. Okay. There you go. go. Love story. So to answer what you just asked, where. Not that aunt, but where I grew up. So on my street was me, my mum and my dad. The next street was my dad's sister, her husband, and her four kids. The next street up was his other sister and her four kids, three from a previous relationship and the one from the guy she lived in the house with. And my granddad lived around the corner as well. Man, you're not coming back from that. <laughs> you're like, you guys are like ticks. Yeah, I don't yeah. care how much tea you're drinking. You're, like, <laughs> you're not coming back from that. Bro. That's... Do you guys all get together at holidays and all that kind of stuff? Everybody's together? No, we get together when one of us gets married or dies. <sighs> okay. Is there any, like, any parent feuds? beefs where, like, aunt, whoever doesn't talk to Uncle Steve or whatever? Again, it's all very silent, so it's never discussed. <laughs> so my dad, I love that. My I dad with his shit. sisters is sort of like, I don't like her for this reason. But then if they see each other, they're like, oh! Sure, 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 sure. Okay. All hmm. right. That's very British, I would think, right? Mm, yeah, passive aggressive. Yeah, behind your back. We see, we see it as polite. Like, don't tell someone you hate them. Hate them. Yeah, and never let them know because mm-hmm. that yeah. that would be rude. Got a yeah. lot of that. I like yeah. that. Stuff it down deep inside <laughs> to where it belongs. Um, Any runaways in the family? Runaways, as in they ran away and left. Um. So two of my dad's brothers. Uncles sort of seen how shit the family was and was like, we're going to pretend they they don't really belong to us. Yeah, we're so over they here moved now. to really nice areas. And then as they've gotten older, they've sort of had regret and tried to reconnect. Okay. Yeah. So hmm. not quite runaways. But some people are trying to create a little space. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Someone's trying to, you know, they're locking their bedroom door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Did you lock your bedroom door? <laughs> That's trash. Uh, <laughs> My brother did that for a long time. That's uh, weird. What the fuck? Um, do you have a go-to karaoke song? No. Do you do karaoke? Yeah. Wow. I will just, I'll, I'll just go with whatever I feel like on the ninth. How often are you doing it? A year. Once. All right. A year? Once a year? Once is enough. I don't think... <laughs> Once. I don't think I've done it in the past year. Okay. But I think maybe the year before was twice. So that's what's oh, happening. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't get carry. I just don't get nah, it. Nah, it's brutal. It's just fun. Uh, not to, not for me. It's I, yeah, I just don't understand it. I mean, it's not fun for anyone else in the room. Exactly. That's it's only thing. fun for the person on stage, yeah. like, oh, 
Because you always, everyone thinks they can sing better than they can. I, that's not me. I, I don't think I, I know I can. But that's the why karaoke I I machines think because they're always at a key. You're, you're not singing in the, the original key that the song's in. So you sound like hey, an idiot. Steven Tyler, fucking relax, I'm will you? Jesus Christ, out of key. I don't it's a karaoke the, bar. I don't know who the sound guy is over there. <laughs> <laughs> Who's producing this? <laughs> Trash. <laughs> you stink. Um... I think I'm. Yeah, I mean, I think I got all the. Uh, yes. I think I got all the evidence <laughs> I need to render a verdict here. I got two from Patreon, uh, guys. So as you know, when you sign up for Patreon, we'll answer your garbage question on the air. It's just the best way to do it. Um, this is from Double Penetration. Haven't had one read yet. Have you ever left a comment on an internet porn video? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Wow. But, but I do sometimes want to. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, like, hey, jump to four minutes and 15 seconds or something. <laughs> the good stuff starts. Give it yeah. somebody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lose the intro, will you? I More like criticism, like shoddy camera work. Yeah. Sack that guy. <laughs> I caught myself. <laughs> I, I can see the boom guy. <laughs> <laughs> the boom mic's dropping it. I caught myself reading them once. Like, I, I, like, in my head, I was like, I was like reading like tweets or something. I was like, oh. and then I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> You gotta be some kind of creep. Uh huh. Man, oh man. Best one I've ever seen was this guy's dog shit and fucking. Oh. <laughs> also written by Toby. <laughs> <laughs> it was a home video, too. Um, all right, this one's from Vaughn. Is anyone in your family named Tammy? No. <laughs> okay. No, that's an American name. Oh, is it, it really? Yeah, there's I no Tommy's. Do you have any aunts or uncles that you call that have, that have nicknames? That's not their real name? Any yes. cookies or JoJo's? So my uncle Richard is called Pedro. Okay. Why? Let's no, go. No, one knows. Knows. Uh-huh. <laughs> no one knows. Him and the guitar. <laughs> uh, that's my un- bad. My uncle Bernard's called Barney, but I think that's quite a common shorten uh, of Bernard. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Barney. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Barney's okay. good. I like yeah. that. Barney's nice. Yeah, Barney's all right. But- Barney's a good guy. <laughs> but yeah, yeah buy Pe- a beer. Pedro's just Pedro to <laughs> everyone. That's Man. so weird. He did something fucked up to get <laughs> before you kids were born. I'll tell you that right Sex now. Sex tourism or something. <laughs> uh, Killed a Spanish guy. <laughs> Stole his identity. Uh, I have a quick one. Sure. So Please. you're our first uh, English guest. Yeah. Is there anything for like future guests? Second. We had Bisping on. Oh, true. Oh, shit, yeah. That was before my time. Michael Bisping. Shout out. Uh, is there anything that, that sets you off where you're like, that's trash that, that we should keep our eye out for, for future guests? Is there like a, any, any sort of English habit that, that is instantaneous, like tip for you? Like this guy's a piece of shit. I think 90% of his life story. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think anything that his brother's that. ever done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you heard about the bird, right? <laughs> you were here for that. Dude, I still imagine you at 16 be like, ma, tell him what happened. <laughs> I know that I know that feeling of your two boys being like, what the fuck? I thought she was going to say that he died and just didn't want to tell you. But, man, to go into detail, <laughs> he picked his feathers out one by one. Um, wearing a football top. Soccer shirt. A soccer shirt. Okay. When you're not playing it. Yeah. So wearing a football top to the pub. Sure, That's same here. trash. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Did you wear it to the games? Will you wear a Liverpool jersey? I the won't game? wear it to the game. It's a weird thing with Liverpool fans, though. It's sort of like. What a, do you do? The scarf or the other other? I'll maybe wear a scarf, but I won't wear a Liverpool top. It's sort of like I it, I can't really explain it. It's sort of like it's. Not, I think it's insane. Anytime wearing a jersey. Yeah. But I mean, people over here will do them to like a wedding. Yeah. Like the people in like what? the Midwest and stuff, because they, <laughs> that that's like the most expensive item of clothing they own. <laughs> and, it is, and it has buttons on. Like if it's a baseball jersey, it'll have like buttons on it. So they're like, well, I tried a Knicks jersey on before, uh huh, just because I was like, let's see what this looks like. Sure. And it looked, and this is the right word, ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So like, anybody wearing it, jerseys? It, if you were designing the opposite of a basketball player in a lab, it looks <laughs> like this. It's just a jersey and two I'm shoes sh- sticking out. <laughs> it, yeah, it looked ridiculous. I'm surprised at that. That was a good question, t I'm surprised at that. Wearing a soccer shirt to a bar is trash. Yeah. Huh. Because it's... Uh, it's big here. Like, if you're going to, you're saying to go to even to watch the game or go, like, if you're watching at the pub. Uh, the American or you're dudes saying are walking just around. Any, at any time to I, wear. For me, yeah. anyone wearing a shirt is trash. It, 
when they're not playing the game, mm-hmm. for me, is like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Like, if I play, so I play five-a-side football every now and then. I'll just, you know, ten of us go for a game. Mm-hmm. I'll wear it then. Yeah, you're playing a you're game. Playing. Yeah. There was just, uh, the Eagles just played uh, the, the Washington. Yeah. And when the quarterback was leaving, there was a bunch of Eagles fans on a railing. And they leaned over to say hi to him, and they fell. One of the guys was wearing an Eagles jersey and a helmet. <laughs> I got a helmet paid off, though. Dude, I shit you not. He was wearing a fucking jersey, yeah. and, the, and the helmet was too big <laughs> You on can't him. be sitting I, in the stands it, in it, shoulder pads. It had, <laughs> That's a tough look. It had to be a little kid. I hope it was a little kid. Oh, God. <laughs> Buddy, Adam Rowe, 100% trash. But what a good fucking, fucking time. Fucking man. Love you. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Such a good one. Uh, you got anything out you want the folks out there to know? Uh, Lay it on them. Podcast is called Have a Word. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's t- me and a, another co-host who's a comic, and we have guests on every week. Uh, and I've got a special on YouTube called Club Comic, which is a, a 40 minute of stand-up that I put out last year. Love Fantastic. It. Buddy, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks Happy so birthday. Happy thank birthday. You. Yeah, Enjoy yeah, New yeah. York, both of you guys. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, same. Check out our special on YouTube. Uh, our live show dates uh, are on sale now. Go get them. Uh, links Link will be in the description. Very nice. What was your, what's your co-host's name again? Don Nightingale. Yeah, shout out to Dan. Mm-hmm. So uh, T-Bone, we love you, buddy. Um, peace. Peace.